here we have the new made to measure C1 saddle. What we need to do when we're deciding how big the saddle needs to be is measure, make a few measurements. So we need to measure four inches up to, to there, measure four inches up at the back there and then measure in between. So in this case it is 75 centimeters. So once you've ordered the saddle online and put in your size, this measurement here measures 75 centimeters. It's just a case of getting how to fit the foam in between the foam pillars. We're lucky with this boat that the, this foam pillar comes off. Um, also, some boats have a center pillar. This is off a, off a piranha. And the easiest way of doing this is just take them out and then we can bolt them into place. This boat is quite straightforward. I'm just going to unscrew the central pillar in this. Slide it into the rear pillar like so. Going around, I can get this. Nice locks into place. Screw it back in, and we're done. However, before we do that, it can come with a plastic bolt which goes through the foam pillar. Now as it is this is not going to come out. It's absolutely solid. There's nothing going to be as strong as that, not even the original outfit in. But what we're going to do is we're just going to mark off because the saddle's pre-drilled. You just put your cover in here. So we're just going to push in through this hole. Can you see that? And we're just going to mark off this foam on each side because we're going to make this absolutely rock solid. Okay. Inside the fitting kit comes with an aluminium tube. This is purely for cutting out the foam pillar. So where we've marked off, we just basically force this Thing through, make sure it comes out where we've marked off, pull it out, and then we push our plastic dowel into the, into the tube. We're just going to get our threaded bar and we're going to push that through. Just by locking it in. And that basically is in very slowly. I'll put my bolt back in the top. Put my washer back in at the top. And that is wedged 